Hollywood's ritziest night brought out a bevy of shining stars, all striving to put their most fashionable foot forward. So which Oscar attendees truly dazzled on the red carpet? Here to break it down for us is Say It With Style celebrity stylist and fashion blogger Felix Mercado. Felix, as always, great to have you here. Thank you for having me. And I want to say last night for you must have been crack is to addicts. It was a real fashion <laughs> high, right? Oh, there was a lot of lows, but there was some highs. I thought it was a pretty decent red carpet for uh -huh. the most part. There were a lot of trends that we saw yes. yesterday. Red was a big one. We Huge. Saw a lot of celebrities. I loved it. Sandra Bullock. Was Sandra Bullock. It. You saw Penelope Cruz was mm -hmm. on fire in that dress. Salsa. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Scarlett. Well. That was more of a berry color. I. She was. It was dull. Right. For me, dull and Dolce and Gabbana is what I was calling it. Right. Um, and it was also kind of like that mullet dress where it was business in the front and party in the back. Now, red <laughs> is a difficult color yes. for people to wear. So how do you advise people who want to sort of incorporate that? Well, Jennifer Hudson should be listening to this interview <laughs> because that color red was not good on her. I, it's. It, you have to be conscious of your skin tone and you have to make sure that it's the right color red for you. Not everyone can pull it off. Right. Not everyone. Okay, someone who did have red and got it right was Anne Hathaway. And before we yes. get to the best and worst, I want to touch on her yes. a little bit because she's really emerged over the last couple of years as a style icon. Yes. Did she last night, do you think, um, crystallize her position as the next generation of Hollywood glamour? She had seven changes, I think. Well, you always say that I'm very tough, and I am <laughs> when it comes to style and fashion, because this is what these celebrities sign up for. Um, when she hit the red carpet in that vintage Valentino, yeah, I felt like she Valentino. nailed it. Okay. But when she hit the stage, I felt like her style was too all over the place. And yes, she was funny, and she was carrying the weight of the show on her because her co-host, Yeah. S-U-C-K. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was horrible. But she kind of overcompensated with the fashion and she overcompensated with her performance. But overall, I think she did a good job. And yes, people are looking at her now and they're saying that she is the next generation's Julia Roberts. And let's talk about the least favorite looks that you saw on the carpet last Oh my night. gosh. You say Marissa Tomei did <sighs> not do it for you. And that Charles James okay. vintage gown, it was a 1950s gown. Right. It should have stayed in the 1950s. <laughs> but her makeup was nice. But between her hair and her makeup, it was like her people didn't communicate with each other and she obviously didn't look in a mirror. Moving on, Jennifer Hudson. I thought there were worse culprits on the red carpet for you. That Versace number did nothing for her. I know she wants to celebrate the new bod, but again, <laughs> I felt like she got into a fight with a tomato and lost. Oh dear me, and Nicole Kidman in Dior. <laughs> Another eye roller. A riveting I mean, performance. A riveting perf She was dress. better in the movie than she was on the red carpet with that <laughs> bad kimono dress. I, it was just, it wrinkled, it just did nothing for her. And I'm over her in white, over her in white. Okay, and let's move on to the best looking mm -hmm. out there for you, number three. Well, no, I had my absolute best and I had my best. I loved Holly Berry in that Marquesa gown. Okay. It was absolutely stunning. It was one of a kind and she does champagne so well right. and she kept it simple with the accessories and I loved it because your eye was on the dress and then it was on her for beauty. Right and what about Michelle Williams and Chanel? Here. This was the one time she got it right. I felt it was simple, it was couture and she just looked stunning. And Anne Hathaway as well you said. <laughs> oh and that vintage in, Valentino, in Valentino, she rocked it. Once she stepped out I was like that is what the Oscars are about. Right. That dress, vintage, stunning, she looked beautiful. She did look beautiful. Another trend that we saw was uh, minimal sort of accessories. Mm -hmm. And we have an exclusive peek at Ooh. a red carpet look from last night. I love the glitter and the, <laughs> this, <laughs> the glam. This was carried by, it's an Indian designer mm -hmm. and uh, from Swanye K. Fabulous. And Robin Roberts had this on the red carpet for the pre-show. We like Robin. And I just want to look at the detailing. It's so exquisite, mm -hmm. the craftsmanship, the details the crystals. on it. But still sober, sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Something that really can, you know, punctuate a look without being too over the top. Exactly. And I want to ask you, Felix, I mean, how do we bring this back to all of us and look at the trends from last night? Yes. How do we incorporate a little bit of Hollywood lux into our look without breaking the bank? Well, it's important to, when you look at the different trends, and you, one thing that you have to think about is, is this trend right for me? Like. Last night, the embellished dresses were really, really popular. You saw it on Holly Berry. If you want to bring that look into your wardrobe, do it like the way that you're doing it. Find something that has a simple bejeweled neckline and you want to keep it simple. Don't trump it up with jewelry, necklace, and bracelets. Let it be about that one statement and then you let your beauty work around it. Well, so. I am glad that you approve. I got the <laughs> thumbs up from you. Felix Mercado, great advice as always. Thank you. Thank you so much. And for more of Felix's picks of who was red hot and who missed the mark, head to CBSNews.com. In New York, I'm Karina Mitchell.